Steve, can you tell us about uh, the company and what you do here? Uh, yeah, so I mean, we're a contracting company and we mainly contract to uh, large multinational organisations, uh, oil and gas, diesel systems, uh, medical, um, and we make um, complex components. So, uh, and, and you make some, you're making them out of some pretty exotic materials as well, aren't you? I mean, some parts that I look at here and think, how yeah. do you go about making those? Quite a clever engineering business, obviously. Well, that's right. I mean, we try to um, always uh, make stuff that is difficult to make and out of difficult materials. And yeah, we're, we're using stuff like uh, um, Nitronic 50, uh, Airmet 100, uh, P550, a lot of stuff that people haven't heard of. And uh, yeah, and you have to find specific methods to machine it. It takes a lot of time to develop. And you don't want to be scrapping stuff like that, do you? I mean, that, you know, you, you, could, you could eradicate your profits overnight almost, couldn't you? No, that's right. And we do use uh, certain uh, test pieces to get set up on. We do use uh, less expensive materials, but yeah, we don't want to scrap anything. So, so you, you, yeah. you need a reliable, reliable machines in order to do that. Uh, we're standing here in front of a Dali supplied by Ward High Tech, one of many that you've got in the business here, Steve. Um, you recently took on another couple of machines, didn't you? Why was that? Well, because at the moment the customer just wants more and more capacity and uh, you know, what's happened with us mainly is that we've, uh, we've been developing various product lines for our customer and now they actually want them in volume. They've uh, validated them, they now want uh, volume production and we just need to get um, you know, more capacity, more spindles running. And do you find then that you, that happens quite quickly as well? You need to react fast. Is that part of a, a, you know, the market these days? Yeah, because the customer doesn't really know what they want until they've validated the product. Um, once it's validated, they then put it out into the marketplace and see what the demand is. And all of a sudden, you know, it can go from zero to 100 uh, in a matter of weeks. And then, so how do you then go about satisfying that need then for, for the extra capacity? Well, we, we sort of, uh, you know, do the logistics by having lots of supply partners around us that can react quickly. Uh, that means that if we want machine tools, we'd go to war because they're our preferred suppliers for machine tools. We expect them to have a certain amount of uh, stock. We expect them to basically be able to put a, uh, a deal together quickly, um, a competitive deal, and also help us with the finance and uh, spread the payments. Yeah, I suppose all of those things are key, aren't they? I mean, a customer comes to you with a, a new product or a demand that you need to satisfy quickly. When you buy a machine, sometimes there's things that impact on your cash flow, like your VAT or, or your deposits, like you say. Yeah. If you can kind of, you know, move those to one side and still get a spindle in, that helps, doesn't it? Is that what Ward High Tech do? Well, absolutely, yeah. This is the problem that, you know, sometimes when you're, you know, trading at a high level, you do need to find ways of easing the cash cycle. Um, and one of the things Ward does, especially with the payment deferment, is it allows you to get everything up and running, start actually selling product to the, uh, to the customer, and then get the cash in, you know, the cash available to pay the, uh, to pay the finance. So how, how many times do you go to Ward High Tech and go, guys, I need another spindle? Is, is that really how it works? Yeah, I mean, it's happened quite a few times over the years. Sometimes things are more planned. Sometimes we're buying capacity just to have it in place for you know, for, for future strategic development. But sometimes it is literally under those circumstances where we need a spindle, we need it quickly, um, and we need them to come up with the goods. And some might say you might pay a premium for that, but are you saying they still sharpen the pencil and the deals are competitive? Oh yeah, yeah, we make sure they sharpen the pencil. Yeah, we, uh, we, still, go, we still have to go through the, uh, the usual um, you know, negotiating uh, period, so yeah. it's good. And you always come out on top, I'm sure. Um, but the actual Dali product is obviously important. I mean, we can't dismiss the fact that it's not just all about the commercials and the quick delivery. You wouldn't have so many of them here if the machine didn't do what you want them to do. So they're quite capable of handling like parts like this and, and maintaining these tight tolerances. Yeah, sure, a lot of all of these things. When we bought our first machine, we didn't really know the, uh, didn't really know the product. But, you know, after we, uh, after we had the first one, we tried it on several different um, applications. We knew that it was a uh, you know, very, very good fit for the purpose that we needed it for. And one of the aspects you mentioned to me as well was about the control systems. That's quite an influence for you as well, isn't it, FANUC? What do you like about it? Uh, well, FANUC is you know, one of the most universal uh, control systems and you can always get the spares. I and mean, we've got some machines that are 25 years old. They uh, still get they're on FANUC. You can still get uh, FANUC spares for them. Um, and yeah, we just, uh, certain machines, we just want to keep them going longer. Um, it is nice to have a mixture of new and old. Um, it's good financially because it means that if things do turn down, you're not too exposed from the financial uh, standpoint. 
we like stuff that you know we've got a choice and we don't have to retire it purely and simply because the spares dry up. And why the five axis in the end then, Steve? Because that's been one of your latest ones, the DMX320. Yeah, I mean, we're looking for you know faster and quicker and uh, more efficient ways of doing things, and five axis offers that. Um, it's not the answer to everything, but there's definitely uh, there's a good solution for certain problems. Final words on Ward High Tech. Uh, when you get that phone call again from your customer coming soon, is it going to be a case of, Paul, I need another yep, machine? Yep. I'll be ringing Paul and asking him, uh, you know, see what he can sort out, see what he's, uh, what he's got in stock. And uh, yeah, I mean, we work well together and we always have done. Yeah, it's been good.